Folks, thanks for joining the channel. Today we're gonna to do a recap of 2022, so stay with us. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. A podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Hey, welcome back to our channel, Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Uh, Tim, we're going to just kind of, we, we've been doing a year end the last uh, couple years we've been doing this and uh, 2022 is no different. So uh, folks, stay with us. We're going to go through, yeah, I think we're going to go through some highlights and uh, some, what we think are some of the best videos that we did or episodes. Uh, we've got some news on the news we'd like to share and highlight. And then uh, at the end of this bad boy, we've even got some bloopers that will uh, not, believe it or not, folks, this doesn't always go perfect, right? <laughs> so uh, you've seen some of those in past years, but uh, we'll have some new bloopers for you this year. All right, uh, the four foot county line tiller, the four foot county line tiller. This tiller is from Farm Fleet, one of many places, that's where I bought it. Um, it's a four foot gear driven tiller and I haven't used this since uh, this. Well and on top of it I mean this year in review is really and a tribute to everybody that watches our watches or listens to our show and uh, so this is really all the progress we've made with our listeners so I'm, I'm super excited about that we got some really great uh, data or statistics to share with you um, we're in season 2.5 so we started, uh, gosh, what was it, 20, 2019, summer of 2019? 2020, I think, July of 2020. Okay. Right? That may be right, or is it 19? I think, I think it's, 19, it's 19. 19. 2019, July 7th, I think, was the first one. Yep, so two and a half years. Yep. So uh, uh, we're just coming off the holidays. Um, talking, it's been a busy year, really. I mean, when you look at what we've been able to achieve with our listeners and viewers been a been a really great year it is um not only just from a number standpoint but uh you know maybe you want to talk about the store and the hats here so that's pretty exciting right is, is we've got the two dumbass store up and going and what do we got sitting in front of us here so we've got uh so i ordered up we got a bunch of friends coming to see us so i ordered up we've been heavy working on our logos and stuff trying to find some right combinations etc what looks great and uh, so this is just a snapshot of what we've been doing we've got some more uh exciting designs coming that i'm pretty excited about that i figured out how to work with this with this uh application that we're using but uh you're seeing a design here and then what we've also done this is a snapback it's also got the two dumb asses in the back and it really pops it really it really is really a nice looking design. I, my probably two favorites here is this camo and the black really looks sharp. Uh, you know, and I, I got to tell you guys, I, the, any money we make, we just plow back into the show. And I mean, it's, I was out, I uh, picked up a new ATV. And uh, by the way, I was wearing this sweatshirt that also come up, came off our store. And uh as I was picking up this new ATV, the gal at the counter goes, oh my God, I love that sweatshirt. She goes, I could have one of those for both my wife and I. And she goes, we both wear them around the house. <laughs> you know, because it's got the two dumb asses in the back. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, they I think they make great gifts. And again, we appreciate all the support you guys can provide. Yeah. Yeah, we certainly do. We provide that link in all of our all of our episodes. So if you uh, want to go out and look at that and just browse, see what we've got out there, I think that'd be great. We really appreciate it. Numbers. Should we talk about some numbers? Well, so uh, we're sitting here uh, at this. Why don't you tell us what we're working on right here, Joel? Yeah, so we're in the uh, two dumbass bunker garage. Let's call it that. Um, and we're using uh, a friend, friends of Tim and I, um, are building a new house, house and um, they want a, sh a, a harvest table to go into the, the, into the house. So what this is, is a harvest table. It's going to be approximately four foot wide 
and nine foot long when we cut it down. Um, and it's made out of uh, two inch telephone poles that were cut down, which I've never heard of, but it, uh, it, it's really neat wood. A lot of character and easy to work with. And uh, so uh, that's what this is. We'll, uh, you know, I'm continuing to take some pictures, so I'll share that as this project progresses. But we've got it glued together, and uh, now we've got to just sand it flat and straight, and then cut it, and then, um, you know, stain it poly is, is kind of this next steps. Yeah, it's going to look great. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. All right, so now I think we're on to review of 2022. Okay. So I did things a little different this year because I thought there were some interesting numbers. So what I've done is, is I've broke it down into lifetime where we're at, but then I also broke it into, hey, what do we do this year? And I think the results are telling. So as of today, we are at... Uh, 304 subscribers for our YouTube channel. For 2022, how many new subscribers do you think we we got just for 2022 this year? I think I looked it up, honestly. Uh, I wanted like 194? 190. Okay. At 190. Okay. So we have had, and I didn't do the exact numbers, but it's like 40,000. We had 40,000 like 200 views of our episodes this year how many of them were in 2022 uh, how many 4,000 you said no 40,000 40,000 200 wow, 2022 is a, it was a banner year man I'm I'm gonna say uh, uh three quarters of those 30,000 34,000 plus okay yeah okay. 34,000 and change so now let's talk watch time and hours so the reason we pay attention to this is YouTube has an algorithm. They, we know it's around views. It's about watch time, et cetera. There's a couple other little nuances that I'm not going to share, but uh, we know that they have an algorithm out there, but watch time in hours is a big one. So we had 3,600 watch time hours so far since we've began lifetime, 3,600 plus. Uh, how much for 2022? Well, I'm going to stay with that same formula, but about 70 or 80 percent, right? So, 2,400, 3,000. Wow, 3,000 plus. So, we have roughly 350 plus watch, listen, subscribers. You know, looking at our other channels, um, and and just as an FYI, from our audio podcast listeners hey not all of our stuff really applies to uh to the listening uh media so we try to push as much as we can there but we're not just going to put out junk so if it fits we put it out there our primary vehicle is really youtube trying to share all of our learnings and a lot of times it includes visual stuff so if we if we can't get it to fit we don't put it out there. So that's just a heads up there. Uh, so we had a peak watch a watch day on YouTube. What was our one day peak? Any guesses? Yeah, when it happened, I knew it. But yep. It's been uh, it's been just long <clears throat> enough, a month and a half. And I want to say it was like 200 views in one day or something like that. 325. Wow. We had a 325, 325 day, uh, and it was right in the heart of hunting season. Uh, so, gosh, you know what? I got to turn up, put on my glasses here. Uh, we have, so let's talk about some of our achievements that we've had. Oh, wait a second. How many impressions did we have for 2022 so impressions are um basically youtube youtube's uh recommending our video in some anytime shape or form. someone sees that uh icon of our thumbnail yes yep. is an impression right yeah yep. so, and i know that was a big it was a big number last year when we reviewed it but um it's got to be bigger than that ah. how about a couple hundred thousand so four hundred and ninety nine thousand three hundred Almost a half a million. Yep. Wow. 
Yep. And I did not go into 2022, but I would, I can tell you the lion's share of it. And I'm going to say 90 plus percent of it was in 2022. Man, that's a lot. So let's talk some of our achievements, really. I mean, really, we had some great, we really had some just great uh, achievements this year. So we're closing in on our first 12,000 episode, 12,000 12, view episode. Now, I know you go out on YouTube and you see a lot of people out there. They see, and when you go to do a search, you see these ones that have 800,000, a million, blah, 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 views. I'm here to tell you guys, that is the top one quarter of 1% of all YouTube. So for us to get in this, we're probably in the top 2%. When you get into a 12,000 view, you're in the top 2%. I, I, I think that's, I would, I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, pretty excited about that. Um, and that was on our Raven 10. You know, that was, uh, we, you and I both own Raven, Raven 10 crossbows. And this was, uh, our comparison, you know, we'll share, you know, that little clip with it on the, in the video, but gosh, I'm telling you what, uh, it, people have been very responsive to that. And so we're going to make sure we do more of that this next year. Yeah. And it still continues to get, you know, I think our number one viewed, uh, uh, episode still yeah. today. So, um. Yeah, that was a good one. So uh, we're closing in on on five thousand on our on the Kubota MX six thousand. Uh, so I think we that was a tractor I bought a year ago to upgrade against my uh, International Harvester six eighty four gear driven tractor with no four wheel drive by the way assist. And uh, again, still super happy with that. I was going to say, okay. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Yep. Uh, how many videos, Joel, do you think we have that are over 1,000 views? Eight. Let's say eight. We're at nine. Okay. Good. It was a good guess. All right. So, um, and we have probably another half a dozen that are approaching 1,000 views. But a year ago today, we that number would have been one. Much less than nine. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So super excited about that. Uh, so how many total episodes do you think we have on our channel? Well, I'm pretty confident in this because I'm sorry, I've been uploaded in this year. So uh, I think 66. No, for so taught lifetime. Oh, lifetime episodes. Yep. Oh, my goodness. I know it's over 100. I'm going to say 110. 130, 131. Oh, geez. And then after this episode, we'll be at 68 for this year. So over half our episodes will come from this last year. Yeah, and we kind of set a informal goal at the beginning of this year, trying to get one episode out. One, we wanted to shorten the episodes and get more focused on the episodes. And then two is because of that, we felt we could get one, on average, one a week. And, uh, you know, on average, I think we hit... We hit that number. Yep. Yep. And we've got some exciting little things we're going to do this year. Well, you know, we're going to talk about it anyway. Yeah. What's our big new purchase? So, um, again, it's it's really what we've been saving all the money that we have got from our merchandise and marketing and whatever. And uh, we purchased a drone. So we want to add that. And the main emphasis of the drone is just to get some more creative video and 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 uh photos injected into the channel yeah so i think you i mean you brought this up earlier when we were talking about this is, is we think about our our dove plot that we put in with the sunflowers how nice would it have been to have that videography of hey i'm going to go in let's go do a quick update not leave your house and you go in and just do a quick video of hey it's planted and then do a time time scale of how it's progressing that would have been awesome yeah the, like the silt fence we talked about you put the silt fence in you do some video and you go back once a week and and see how it's done over you know let's say a summer you yeah. know kind of thing it's be cool yeah and by yeah. the way that silt fence really worked i mean it it really worked uh, i was impressed you can't see it because it's full of grass that's now. right that's good the drought definitely by helped. design the drought helped but yeah no uh 
All right. So, hey, now I think we're back to um, what's your top videos for the year? You want me to go first? Yeah. Yeah. So there was a lot of them. I mean, there was a lot of good I had a lot of good memories of it. So I remember yeah. starting off the year with trail cameras. That's kind of how we started the last couple of years. But um, the top three for me were the dove, the dove hunting one. And I think we did a couple, one um, seeding, you know, seeding the sunflowers. But we did one on a, the dove hunt and then the, the post dove hunt. That one was probably my top one. Just fun. It was beautiful weather, being outside and, uh, you know, being able to do something for the first time like that and go dove hunting. And um, it was it was fun. It was a lot of fun. The second one, probably not super exciting to most uh, to you, or but to me it was because it involved my Mahinder tractor, which is my mowing tractor at the home. And um, I had a rear seal that kept going out on it. In fact, I just had to replace the other rear seal the other day. And uh, so that one... What really made that special to me is the response that we got from our viewers on that. There, there clearly is an issue with this Mahindra Emax 20, 22, 24, and the rear seals are leaking. And uh, we've got a lot of comments uh, thanking us and then inquiring about more questions. So I know we hit the bullseye on that one. And then the third one is uh, another tractor, but on my John Deere, I put a bucket leveler on the John Deere. And uh, that took me a day, but it was fun uh, planning that and doing that. And uh, it, did, it didn't end up the way I originally did. And I had to go back and, and redo it and make some adjustments to it. But uh, it's still on there. I use it all the time I get on that tractor. And uh, again, not a lot of views on it. Well, and, you know, the cool thing was is it appears that the Mahindra, <laughs> the Mahindra, as you mentioned, it's getting a lot of hits, as well as the... The John Deere load leveler indicator, uh, I re I mean, really seem to resonate with folks. Yeah, it's uh, again, I they're spe special to me because um, when you do something like that and you get comments back, you know, thanking you or asking questions, and uh, you know, you know, you're helping someone, which I which is fun. You know, one statistic I did not keep this year was the amount of emails that we get from our listeners and viewers. It's incredible on the number that we get. I mean, we, our comments have definitely spiked, but the number of emails we get is a lot. To the point of we've got to pretty much check it, you know, every day or if not every other day yeah, to make sure it. we keep it in time. Yeah, keep it, keep it coming, keep it coming. How about you, Tim? What top? What are your top three? Well, my first one was probably the food plot cover crop episode. And the reason I, th I think that that resonated with me is, is I'm really trying to figure out how to optimize improving the soil, improving the soil, providing food, and doing it in a least cost manner and set myself up for a successful hunting season. So I think really the those all resonate. I had to do a lot of research for that. Um, it hasn't gotten as many views as I thought it would get. But uh, I'm going to be using a lot of that information out of it. So I, I, really, I really enjoyed doing that and trying to figure, figure that out. And, you know, I know my buddies all, all benefit from when I do research like that and we sit and talk through and game, game plan what we're going to do. So like Kids uh, in a candy store with it, talking it, about food crops. It know. really is. There's like yeah. six of us. Six of us that will sit. And Joel and I obviously talk about it a lot. But we have other people – you know, that aren't, that don't live in our area and we'll sit there and I'll be on, I'll be driving somewhere and we'll be on the, in the truck and we'll be, Hey, it's now's the time, you know, now's the time to be start thinking, what are you going to do? What are you going to do this spring? Have you seen the price of fertilizer <laughs> this year? Yeah. And so on and so forth. You got your seed. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's a good one. So, uh, my second one's probably the cutty back. I'm going to call it cutty back series. Again, a little bit more selfish for me. So I put in, uh, for the years that have been following us, is we put in a Cuddy Back. A year ago, I bought 10 Cuddy, Cuddy Back Link cameras, which basically sets up a local area network. And I have, we have a series of videos of how-tos as we're sitting to learn on those Cuddy Backs. And so this was my first year. 
I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with the cuttybacks. Um, I'm going to, this next year, we're going to explore, hey, what we're going to do different and try to, they have so much functionality. And, and basically what I use this year is their baseline functionality. I mean, the manual on that thing is, I'm not kidding, is not much thinner than this notebook. Yeah. There's a lot there. So that's what I checked off my notes here. I was writing down is our, our viewers will see more on the cuttybacks because uh, we want to focus on some of the functionality. And I've been sharing with Joel as I've gone along, you know, the whole cuttybacks uh, and what, what we've been doing. So uh, he knows what, what kind of quality it's putting together and stuff. And I, I'm, it fits what I was looking for. Uh, then lastly, you know, both on you and I own the Raven, as we mentioned earlier, the Raven 10 is the crossbows that we both own. Um, I think, you know, probably for me, the most, I mean, I know all the benefits and we've got a few comments on some of the, the down, um, on the things we didn't like about the Raven on how to mitigate those. So, and I've actually used those comments this year to improve my hunting experience with the Raven. So the Raven 10 would be my next one. Yeah, and I think between us, I mean, I think the Raven 10 crossbows got, you know, five or six deer on it now, right? Yep. You've had yours for a couple of years, and I've had mine for a couple of years. And so uh, we've, we've had, you know, we've had several seasons to, to hunt with it, and it's still a damn good bow. Solid. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're, we're kind of going into... Uh, thanking people now and uh, you and I didn't talk this before but our wives have really been a big role this year in our 2022 season Um, both appearing in some episodes and then your wife's done a lot with um, some of the video and the audio in the background yeah so some of the money that we get from the merch I dish right back to the wife because I got to pay her for the uh, vocals that she's supporting, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, I, I, I know the wives uh, put up with a lot of stuff from us. And then, uh, but uh, they, they're genuinely uh, encouraged to be, to be more participant in, in the podcast, which is exciting, yep. which will make it fun for us going into next year. And they're certainly helping us. So. Yeah, for sure. And then our listeners and viewers, right? Our listeners and viewers, gosh, we couldn't have. We wouldn't be where we're at without you. Um, we hope to provide even more uh, informative and exciting type uh, episodes next year. I think uh, you, we got more dove hunting. We've got, uh, I think, prairie dog. Prairie dogs in our future. If we can finagle that through a wedding I've got this year. Yep, I hope so. What else? What else? Uh, well, we think? talked about the cutty back. I think that's going to be a big one. And then I know we talked about food plots, but we've got some ideas around um, getting some professionals um that that deal with crops ag crops um but getting them involved with uh, food plot uh, preparation soil testing um herbicides pre-emergence post-emergence fertilizers um et cetera, et cetera. maybe even some tough um tough weeds um like water hemp and whatever else that, that food plotters are always dealing with so uh we're hoping that that comes to fruition and we can do a series on uh, you know to keep digging into the food plot piece yeah that's awesome yeah and then that's just you know that's just 10 so we got about 40 other uh, other topics there we got to get in in 23 which is uh, not gonna be a problem be a lot of fun and we're working on a new sponsor who I think really fits uh, we'll find out I think later this week um, if this works out uh, it's going to provide a lot of content for us, but also a lot of information for our viewers. So, super Be excited neat. about that. Be neat. So, anything else, Joel? No, just uh, Tim. You know, great year. Let me shake your hand. You know, uh, a lot of work. A lot of work goes into this behind the scenes, and you know, during during the production here, and uh, you know, still having fun. And it's 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 been a good year. Yeah, I'm looking forward to 2023. Why don't we tell our audience, give them a break here. We'll include the bloopers at this point stage of the episode. So enjoy those. Comment or drop us an email. And again, if you like what we're doing, uh, hit that subscribe button and, uh, and like the video. That helps us a great deal. But until next time, be safe, have fun, and get outdoors.
Oh, shoot. Jake, looks like you're gonna have to scrap that because it went way up, but. Uh... Folks, stay with us. We're doing an unveil and an unbox, a reveal. You know what? Focus also on just one camera. Yeah, that's true. Folks, welcome. We are doing an unboxing and a reveal of a 2016 3038 John Deere E tractor. So stay with us and uh, we're gonna have all the details. Go through just fine, but what I couldn't get was it threaded on the other side. Sorry, my wife's mowing. She doesn't realize what I'm doing. So with that, in order to get it set, welcome to our, uh, you know, fuck that. <laughs> I had it all. <laughs> you, you got it under. It's just a routine. Hey, in this episode. And so I just repurposed it here because it's a heavy duty cable. Um, I've got them down about three foot. I've got my grounding rod. Whoops. I've got my grounding <laughs> rod right here. And, uh, and then I also have it connected right here. So as you can tell, it works. <laughs> And then when you come back from the bloopers. Yeah. Until next time. Be safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.